What's going on everyone? Scott here. Welcome back to the channel. So Survivor Season 47 Episode 8 recap is here. Last time obviously there was a wild tribal council and where Rachel was able to leave tribal early with the safety without power and Tiana went home from that as they had to all turn on each other. Definitely a heartbreaking one. But so we're going to jump into this episode. Before we do jump in, if you could just hit that like and subscribe button down there. More Survivor content on the channel as we move through this season. This episode 8, usually there's like 13, 14 episodes. So we're getting till the latter third of this season. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. But Rachel is waiting back at camp for everyone to come. And Sol tells Rachel, once they do get back, that he was the one that sent the advantage. Obviously doesn't want it to come out though. Sam tells Rachel that she was going to go home that they were all going to stick together, you know, that was the conversation after she left, or the vibe that he got after she left Tribal Council, also tells her that there's a seven to get Tuku out. Obviously, that was the Tuku group there from Tribal Council that they just had to turn on each other, so, but now they have a seven to try to get them out because they've been trying to stick together, you know, since the merge. So, the other two tribes trying to come together to get them out. But it's the survivor auction time. Scattered in the jungle, a little bit different this time. Scattered in the jungle is bamboos of cash. You can only get one at a time and you have to bring it back to your tray. I love that. I think that's an interesting twist as well. I hope they do that again. And I hope they do continue the survivor auction. Uh, but Gabe is dominating early, handling Andy struggling with zero. Uh, but Sierra is killing it as well. She talks about, you know, doing Easter egg hunts as a kid. And she always dominated that. She just had to retire a year ago from that. But she's killing it, and that's a wrap. Andy finishes with zero. Uh, Sierra finishes with $1,060. There was different amounts in each bamboo. Once they get to the auction, Jeff draws a rock to see how many items will be in the auction, and it'll end without warning. And the twist, I don't remember them doing this last time they did this, but the person with the most amount of money left at the end loses your vote at the next tribal council. So definitely an interesting and you know more incentive to spend your money, but to be smart with it as well. You don't want to get stuck with a... Coconut full of water, as we saw someone get stuck with. Bettini pays $640 for some mac and cheese. I think that's totally worth it. Rachel gets a burger and fries, and actually she notices there's a little piece of paper in the fries, and we'll get back to that later. But they even compete, had a competition eating slugs. They all paid $200 for a chance to get the breakfast spread that they had out there. You had to get two slugs down, I believe it was. Sam does it. But I like that the people that didn't get it Got their $200 back, so they still have that money to possibly spend. Sam has the most money at the end, though, and loses his vote at the next tribal council. Once they get back to camp, Rachel sneaks off to read the note. Hidden immunity idol sewn in the corner of the tarp at camp. Sierra, Rachel, and Teeny talk about getting Kyle out because he has won the last two individual immunity challenges. Genevieve, Caroline, and Sue talk about Rachel playing the best under the radar game so far. And I know that was kind of brought up last game as well. And the moves that she's been able to make the last, you know, episode and a half, really, this episode and the later half of last episode, I mean, you know, I know she was obviously helped by Saul, but, you know, I, I can see that kind of forming here, that storyline kind of forming. But Rachel is able to get the whole machete and cut off the idol of the tarp as everyone's sitting right there in camp too. So it was a nice sneaky move from her to be able to secure that. Goes from almost being voted out last night to having an idol this episode. Obviously no one knows about it, but people are starting to perceive her as playing that under the radar really good game. So it's an immunity challenge time. Classic, you got to hold the bucket that has 25% of your pregame body weight. There's going to be one man and one wo woman to win immunity. Sue wins. Kyle wins. That's three in a row for Kyle. Kyle knows he's building a name for himself and is seen as a threat. Gabe and Caroline seem to be the talk from the Gato Lavo Alliance. They decide on going after Gabe, though. Andy and Sierra are talking, and Andy says that he feels behind. Sierra says that she's not worried about him in the game and you know just kind of dragging him along till they can no longer tolerate him you kind of don't like hearing that if you're a you know a sierra sierra fan in this game in the middle of an episode because that's what survivor producers like to do to kind of get a gotcha moment but i guess i guess we'll see andy says that sierra and sam still feel like they own me and he wants to split up sam and sierra gabe sees sierra as the head of the snake though for those two and for the other alliance in this game. You need Genevieve and Soul talk about getting Sierra or Sam out. Soul and Genevieve want Sierra, whereas Teeny wants to get Sam. Obviously, she has a little bit of a closer relationship with Sierra. However, Caroline is pushing for Rachel. We saw this kind of last episode as well. 
So it was like, I did not put in this much work to help Rachel get through last night's vote for her just to be voted out the next episode. So he tries to pitch splitting up the two, Sam and Sierra, to Caroline. And at Tribal, Sam mentions in the Tribal about having a lot of sheep to herd, and you start to wonder if you're missing something. Not looking good for the Sam and Sierra duo. Jeff does a group exercise to see if anyone is certain with how tonight's going to go. And everyone raises their hand that they are not certain with how tonight goes. So it could really go anyway. And as Teeny says, if you feel comfortable and you know how something's going to go at Tribal, then something's probably wrong. And then this was kind of a shock. But then, you know, thinking about it and seeing more people, you know, have the conversation afterwards kind of makes sense. So Rachel plays her shot in the dark. Not safe, but you see her looking around and seeing if she needs to play that idol, seeing what people's reactions and stuff are. She doesn't play the idol, and but that was a smart move overall, and it took me a minute to kind of process that. Like, what is she doing? But so obviously she didn't get to vote. Sam doesn't get to vote. So the vote is Sierra, Sam, 4-4 split with one vote going to Gabe. Obviously that's from Sierra with no vote from Sam or Rachel. So they did split it right down the middle. Since Sam didn't have a vote though. Sierra will get to vote in the revote, but you can only vote for Sam and Sierra. Obviously, Sierra ends up going home. So just for a couple takeaways, for one, Andy's here to play now. He's ready to get out there. He said he's a dirty player, so uh, looking for Andy to you know start you know trying to make some more moves. We've saw him the last episode or two try to split up from Sam and Sierra. Obviously, he was a part of that this episode, so he's here to play now and. Now, from the Sam and Rachel standpoint, they had to pick up the pieces and try to find a way forward, because obviously they were the ones left out of this vote. If it is just as simple as they want to split up the Sam and Sierra duo, they can probably find a way back in, hopefully. I have a feeling we've seen it in seasons past, they might have to navigate in different ways and, you know, possibly not be part of, you know, votes, even though they've been kind of working together. But it'll be interesting to see what happens, but... Next week looks like chaos and Andy wanting to blow up people's games. I think that was Sam that was saying that. Um, a bunch of names being thrown around as well. So next week will be another interesting episode, an exciting episode, as always, of Survivor. But anyway, that'll do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.